वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ मैकेनिक्स ऑफ सॉलिड्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट साइंट्रोइड ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड शेप्स आउटलाइन ऑफ द सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट साइंट्रोइड ऑफ टू डायमेंशनल फिगर्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद साइंट्रोइड ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड टू डायमेंशनल फिगर्स नाउ लेट अस सी centroidal distance and area of some standard two dimensional figures here we will start with rectangular or square in this figure we can see one rectangle is there which is having width b and depth d this center point is centroid of rectangular or square now this is the x bar distance that is centroidal distance along x axis and this is y bar that is centroidal distance along y axis so we know that the area of this rectangle will be b into d that is breadth into depth so area will be equal to b into d and if and this is the square in the case of square b and d will be equal so here area will be b into b that is b square now this is the centroid so this distance will be half of the total breadth because centroid is at its center so x bar will be equal to half of b that is b by 2 and the centroidal distance along y axis that is y bar that is equal to total depth divided by 2 so it will be d by 2 so area is b into d x bar is breadth by 2 and y bar is depth by 2 this is the second common figure that is right angle triangle in this right angle triangle it is having base b and altitude h this point is centroid of this right angle triangle here it is denoted by capital g this is the centroidal distance along x axis and this is centroidal distance along y axis so we know that the area of triangle will be equal to half into breadth into altitude so area will be equal to half into b into h now this centroid lies at one third part from its the point of right angle so this distance will be one third of total breadth that is b by 3 and if we want to work out this distance it will be equal to two third of b same way here y bar will be equal to one third distance of altitude so that is h by 3 and this remaining distance is two third of its altitude so it will be equal to two third of h so here a is equal to half into b into h x bar that is equal to b by 3 and y bar that is equal to h by 3 let us move ahead so this is the one more common two dimensional figure that is trapezium in this trapezium it is having top width a bottom width b and height h this point is centroid of this trapezium the distance of is centroid from the leftmost part that is centroidal distance along x axis that is x bar and this distance is centroidal distance along y axis that is y bar so the area of this trapezium will be equal to a plus b by 2 means top width plus bottom width divide by 2 into the height so a is equal to a plus b by 2 into h here this is the centroidal distance x bar that is equal to half of width b by 
and height that is equal to y bar and centroidal distance along y axis y bar it will be equal to h by 3 into bracket b plus 2a divided by b plus a. So this way we can work out area x bar and y bar distance for trapezium. Let us move to the next figure that is circle. This is the circle it occupy this much space. The center point of this circle it will be equal to centroid of circle. Here center and centroid will be same. This is the centroidal distance along x axis that is x bar and this distance is centroidal distance along y axis that is y bar. So from figure it is very clear that x bar means this distance will be equal to radius r and we know that area of circle that is equal to pi r square or pi by 4 d square. x bar from figure it is clear that it is r and y bar is also equal to r. The next two dimensional figure that is semicircle. This is the semicircular shape it, it occupies this much area. It is having radius r. This point is centroid of semicircle which is at x bar distance along x axis and y bar distance along y axis. So from figure it is very clear that this distance x bar distance that is equal to radius. So x bar is r, y bar is the special case you have to remember it. It is 4r by 3 pi and area of semicircle that is half of circle. So it will be equal to pi r square by 2. In this figure, this is very important. You have to remember this centroidal distance along y axis that is equal to 4r upon 3 pi. The next figure is quarter circle. Quarter circle is having radius r. This point shows the centroid of quarter circle which is at x bar and y bar distance from its center. This is center of quarter circle. So x bar and y bar which are important centroidal distance and we want to work it out that is equal to 4r by 3 pi and y bar will also be equal to 4r by 3 pi. Here area that is equal to pi r square by 4 that is fourth of total area of circle. So total area of circle is pi r square. So this will this is going to be equal to pi r square by 4 and you have to remember this for quarter circle x bar and y bar will be same and it will be equal to 4 r by 3 pi. And this is the last shape that is circular sector. So in circular sector it occupies this much area and it intend alpha angle near the center. So area of this circular sector that is equal to alpha r square. Alpha is angle in radian. X bar this is the centroidal distance of its centroid from center. So that is equal to two third of r sin alpha divided alpha and this y bar is lying on the axis of symmetry. So this distance that is half of this total distance of circular sector in y direction. So this way we can work out area and centroidal distance for common two dimensional figures. We have seen how to determine the position of centroid means x bar and y bar. So uh, you have to remember all this area volume length and centroidal distance. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in the comment box. I will be there to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much.